If you're building a website, chances are you're going to be using certain Google services like Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google AdSense, and so on and so forth. Google Analytics in particular is something I generally recommend people install on day one. If you're not familiar, Google Analytics is sort of the industry standard for monitoring your web traffic, your conversion data, user demographics, all of this information about the people visiting your website. And like I said, I recommend you sign up for it and install it pretty much on day one if possible. That way you have a full historical record of your traffic data and you'll be able to monitor everything from the start. Now, typically Google Analytics will give you a tracking code that you're supposed to copy and paste into your website so that it appears on every page and it can track your visitors on every page, right? So typically you would copy and paste that code into like your header or something like that. But Google has made it much easier to add that tracking code with this official plugin, SiteKit by Google. Now this adds support for not only Google Analytics, but Google Search Console, which helps you monitor your performance in the Google search results, and Google AdSense. So if you're running a content business, you wanna have ads on your blog and make money from those ads, all of that is integrated into this one plugin. You don't have to install these things manually anymore. You can do it all from this one official plugin. So if we go to install that, we'll search, I guess just site kit. And we'll see it's this first option, site kit by Google. So we can install that, activate it, and then you can click Start Setup. Now I'm not gonna go through the setup process here because you do have to connect your Google account, and I don't necessarily wanna connect bradstestsite.com to my Google account, but I would recommend checking this box, signing in with Google, and then following the steps on screen to go ahead and get at least Google Analytics and Google Search Console set up on your website so that you can monitor your traffic and your search engine performance. And then later down the line, once you do get some traffic, if you wanna add Google AdSense as well, you can do that right from this dashboard. Now, once that's set up, when you come back to this page, you'll actually be able to see your traffic stats right here within WordPress. So you won't have to go over to the Google Analytics website to see your data. It'll be right here on this page.